Hi everybody, this is week four, and this week we're learning about Jimmy and his family and the uh, difficulties that they are going through. He is a four-year-old who is currently living with his grandparents because his mother is seeking help for her addiction problem. She's hoping to be sober by the end of the year, so currently um, Jimmy lives at, with his grandparents and goes to daycare but he's struggling with socialization skills uh, effectively communicating with people having them having himself be understood by other people he's also malnutrient malnourished uh, because of poor eating habits so his doctor has referred him to a mental health professional and a dietitian and our job is to kind of figure out more what's going on and how to better help support not only Jimmy but also the family so I would start by figuring out more about uh, his mom and his relationship figuring out like when he does go to see her on the weekends is it for the whole weekend is it just for a day is it supervised is it not supervised I would also look into making sure that that is a safe environment for him to be in making sure that there's no like drug paraphernalia around uh, with him in that environment because it says that she's still seeking treatment and so we just want to make sure that when she does he goes to see her it is a safe environment it also said when she's available and I would want to try to figure out and get to the bottom of why is it only when she's available what's going on why isn't it more of a consistency thing because that could be playing into a factor as to like sometimes he thinks he's going to see his mom but then he gets disappointed because it turns out that he's not so trying to like figure that out i would also want to eventually do some therapy sessions with like the mom him the grandparents kind of see how they all interact with each other see how he does interact with his mom while uh they're with each other, making sure that it is kind of a healthy experience for everybody involved. I will then talk with the grandparents more and try to figure out like nutrients wise, like why is he having a problem eating? Is it because they can't afford to buy the healthier foods and maybe they might need financial assistance? I would also look into seeing if it's like a sensory thing or if he just doesn't like it or if uh, it's because of all the transitions and stuff that he is going through and just maybe needing more support. So I, even though he has a dietitian, depending on what information I get, I might also send him out to see a specialist who helps kids with like trying to eat and you know learn how to eat certain foods that they might not like and or that they think they don't like and stuff like that. So. Um, then with his trying to be understood and not being communicating effectively, I would seek out a speech pathologist to try to help him, um, be better understood and that can maybe help with his frustrations, his tantrums that he's having when he isn't being understood. I would also look into other factors as to why he's having tantrums at school and at home rather than it being just speech you know uh what interactions he's having um i would do that through like play therapy and maybe have him like figure out what can trigger him and his tantrums and be able to help him better finding coping skills and strategies when those situations come up for him how to better handle it than throwing a tantrum Though it is kind of normal at that age too, uh, it kids, some kids just do that as part of how they are developing. But there comes a point where it also becomes problematic and that's kind of the point where we want to help. Um, and then they also say that he's uh, having troubles concentrating and for that, it's normal for a four-year-old to lose interest uh, pretty easily. They get bored. They want to go play with something else. So even though it might be uh, hard for him to stay focused on a task, I would 
see if it's just like normal for him at that age or if it really is he can't focus at all on the task and I would get permission to speak with his uh, primary care doctor to see if there's maybe something else going on like ADHD that we should you know be watching out for to get him you know extra support if it's needed there and then again looking into if the grandparents are financially secure if they might need financial help you know maybe getting the grandparents into counseling as well because now they thought they raised their daughter and now they're having a daughter or daughter-in-law I'm not sure it doesn't say what parents it is but having this family member who's an addict is hard and now raising a grandchild which they may not have realized that they would be raising as well and that's a lot for them too so getting them the help and support they need too will be a big factor into helping Jimmy out with his uh, situation as well.